through a major wound as dead and wounded have fallen. Families are displaced, facilities and homes are destroyed, ruin and destruction and the sound of bullets have left no place for the happiness everyone in our beloved country deserves. We are really sad for what things have ended up coming to, but there is always hope that we are going to pass this ordeal with our beloved people and that we will get out of it more unified and stronger, all chanting one army, one people. The two sides continue to battle in central Khartoum and other parts of the country, threatening to wreck international attempts to broker a longer ceasefire. The military statement raised the likelihood of a renewed surge in the nearly week-long violence that has killed hundreds and pushed Sudan's population to the break. Sudan top general commits to civilian rule transition. Sudanese top general said Friday the military remains committed to the transition to civilian rule in his first speech since a brutal fighting between his forces and the country's powerful paramilitary began nearly a week ago. In a video message released early Friday to mark the Muslim Eid al-Fitr holiday, Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al Burhan said, We are confident that we will overcome this ordeal with our training, wisdom, and strength, preserving the security and unity of the state, allowing us to be entrusted with the state transition to civilian rule. Since he took control of the country in October 2021, Kul Bulhan and his rival commander of the Rapid Support Forces, General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo, have repeatedly promised to shepherd the country until a civilian government has been elected. However, both have failed to sign political agreements that would see their constitutions lose power. The video message was the first time Bulhan has been seen since the capital and other areas descended into chores in the fighting. It wasn't known when or where the video was made. On Thursday, Sudanese military ruled out negotiations with the rival rapid support forces saying it would only accept its surrender. The two sides continue to battle in central Khartoum and other parts of the country, threatening the wreck international attempts to block a longer ceasefire. The military's statement raised the likelihood of a renewed usage in the nearly week-long violence that has killed hundreds and pushed the Sudanese population to the breaking point. Alarm has grown that the country's medical system was on the verge of collapse, with many hospitals forced to shut down and others running out of supplies. Ruin and destruction and the sound of bullets have left no place for the happiness everyone in our beloved country deserves, Bulohan said in a speech. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.